heading west. Thank you, Athens, Texas. Man, what a great time that was. I'll talk a lot more about Athens, why I was there for the uh, RV Tech School and the RV Inspection School, Level 1 and Level 2 Certified RV Inspector School. Highly recommend it. That's, that's all I'm going to say right now. Keep heading west. Heading for Cap Rock Canyons State Park. Texas Highway 86, heading west, uh, southwest into Kittaquay, Texas. I'm hoping that we could get some sunset photography. We're about 15 minutes out. So, Cap Rock Canyons State Park is in the panhandle of Texas just south of uh, Paladuro, uh, east of Lubbock. Welcome to Kittaquay. This is downtown Kittaquay. Caprock Canyons State Park. All right, so the uh, Honey Flat Campground, which is the RV campground, was full, but I talked to a ranger and she said, no problem camping at the uh, Wild Horse Campground. Uh, so there's a big grassy area out front or I can snag one of the sites if available. Uh, and they're marked with an A. So, $14 for the campsite, $5 for the ent entrance fee, uh, so 19 bucks. And uh, there is water available at, there is water available at the Wild Horse Campground. The uh, Honey Flat Campground has uh, 20 and 30 amp electric and water so that's pretty cool but they're full so this will do that'll give me a place to uh, sleep check it out and uh, in the morning get up and and do sunrise get some photography and I guess sunrise is supposed to be best here because it uh, it lights up the red rock a little bit more, so that'll be cool. I'll catch you guys back when I'm uh, at the Wild Horse Campground. All right, so this is the the Bison Great. The canyon out there, wow. All 
right, so there's Honey Flat. And of course, they're full. Prairie Dog Village. Oh, there's one right there. That's cool. I'll see those tomorrow. Tom and Stacy, this is uh, <laughs> this is incredible. Tom and Stacy have a YouTube channel. You should check them out. It's uh, RV Texas, y'all. I'll link it down in the description below. You got to check out their videos. They're great people, super fun, and they've got a lot of really great content on their channel. Check it out, RV Texas, y'all. Yeah, they turned me on to this place, and that was awesome. You got that green and the red. Beautiful. You're not going to be able to see that with the sun. Dang it. We'll catch it in the morning. But look at all those wildflowers. So here's the wild horse camping area. Cool. I'm gonna grab site 77. There's only two other people in this uh, tent camping campground, the wild horse campground. So I'm gonna grab that number 77, and I'll only have to walk about 200 feet to get an amazing sunrise view. I'll show you here. In the morning, I'll have all that red rock lit up. site number 77 which is right here under the squeaky windmill that's all right Campsite's got a picnic table, lantern hanger, and uh, a stall for your horse or horses, and a fire pit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sixty-six. Same thing. Picnic table, fire pit, place to put your horses. Right under the squeaky windmill. I think there's about ten spots in here. Let's walk over to the road to see what we can see. I could have almost parked right here and had this view in the morning. Do you have to watch for rattlesnakes? Look at that. There we go. Looks 
that exposure so you can see it. That sky looking pretty cool too. willing to bet I can just come right up here. It's like a couple hundred feet from my campsite and get a killer shot. There's some really good foreground stuff. These flowers. Check it out. You got all these flowers, these wildflowers here for foreground. Some cactus, and then a beautiful red rock. There's some good ones up here too, it looks like. Yeah, so right on top of this hill. Wow, there's some petrified wood. That's petrified wood right there. right here looking up so there's a few we can check them out in the morning get up early and come up here and see what there is but right now I'm starving and I want to get back to the camper and get some dinner so let's do it oh maybe we can see some bison too sky. I got my coffee. I'm going to sit here and wait for, uh, I got it, went out and got a few shots of the clouds and stuff, but it's still pretty dark, so got about 20 minutes until the sun comes up, 20 or 30 minutes. I'm going to head out in about 15 minutes and get set up, catch that first light on the, uh, on the canyon. Really pretty here. Lots of mosquitoes out this morning. I know this canyon's going to light up this morning. It's going to be really pretty. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Sit here and finish my coffee and, uh, Wait for that sun to start peeking up. Man, I hope those clouds light up when the sun finally peeks over. Looks like they might. All of a sudden, the wind picked up. But look at that. There's a thunderstorm blowing over. Look at that sky. See this. Oh, man. All right, I need to get camera set. But check this out. Look at that canyon. That's the storm that just came through. gnarly <laughs> oh man beautiful all right sun's up we gotta check out this canyon
see the bison came through here last night. I heard them, but I couldn't see them. Beautiful sunrise. All the wildflowers and cactus. And there's the canyon. The windmill right there. I'm camped just under that. I'm looking for a spot to set up because the sun's going to peek through those clouds in a second and I found these weird things. Anybody know what those are? A couple of them there. I've seen a few more around. No idea. And so I'm set up here. The sun's getting ready to hit. to see what else there is. I think there's a canyon overlook, uh, a couple of canyon overlooks, and then uh, maybe go down and do that hike over on the other side there by Honey Flat. Still pretty good. So I'll get back with you guys when I uh, get over to that other point there. Looks beautiful. I'd stop and take one more shot here. There's the canyon. Use my pan around here. There's the trail, there's the windmill, and there's the truck camper right there. That was pretty steep grade back there. I, I don't want to do that in the truck camper. 
I made that mistake when I uh, went down to uh, Moonstone Beach <laughs> in California on the coast. It was uh, too much for the transmission. But I will hike up to this spot. Check it out. Just asked a couple of guys that were hiking up that trail if they saw any bison. They hadn't seen any today either, which is kind of a bummer, but that is how it goes sometimes. And we'll cruise on down by Honey Flat and check that area out. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit, which is kind of a bummer. Maybe it'll clear out. The wind's picking up. So it might blow it on out. I can't be disappointed. It's still gorgeous here. Saw some really nice colors in the sky this morning, and the wildflowers are amazing. I'll take a peek through the uh, Honey Flat campground for you guys to see. I didn't drive through it last night because it was getting kind of late and I didn't want to disrupt everybody. Plus it was full, so no reason to. Alright, so here's the meadow by the campground. And this is usually where all the prairie dogs and the uh, bison are. And I saw a few prairie dogs up last night when I was driving through, but I didn't get them on video. Oh, there's some. There's one right there. Pink. Hi, buddy. There's a couple of them. There's one out there, too. Oh, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Whole bunch of them out there. There's a couple more right there. Hey buddy, there he goes. <laughs> park here and get the good camera out, see if I can't snap a photo of one here. I put the 70 to 300 on the Tamron and uh, got one. He was sitting up eating something. I don't know, but it was a good shot. I'll show you here. Man, it got real windy. All right, let's check out Honey Flat Campground. This is the RV campground. They do have power and water. I think it's 30 amp, 20 amp and 30 amp uh, plus water. There's a spot right there, it's reserved. There's like some of the spots, nice shade. Power, lantern hanger, and a little wind break. That's pretty cool. I do think they said. 34 feet was the maximum, or maybe it was 32 feet. Well, there's some big Class A's in here. There's a great big Discovery. That's a 34. Some nice Class B's, B pluses. So this one is um, $17 a night. And that gives you power and water. And then there's a dump station right up here, I'll show you. There's the dump station. 